Hi, you guys. Welcome to the channel. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you guys. I don't know what to say. <laughs> There's um, so many messages and I'm sure you guys are like, okay, just what happened in the last two weeks? Do you guys know where you're at, Pisces? Today is the 13th of March. And that's just for the video. I'm not saying anything that you guys don't know, like what day it is, or maybe you don't know what day it is. I don't know. There is so much happening. Pisces, I wanted to let you know right away on the pre-poll here. I did receive that there's a lot going on in the ethers, a lot going on energetically. A lot of information is coming forward. Your luck has changed and things are turning for the better. All right, the Wheel of Fortune, an opportunity, lots of energy coming through, a sword, victory, but not just victory, clarity, decisions, movement forward, um, information. We have a magician. We have the death. That is the death of manipulation. Now they're going to try to manipulate my mouth. The fool, and I just saw kind of like a puppeteer. It's it's interesting throughout my life, people always assume that because someone is nice, elegant, perhaps carefree, that somehow they're an idiot or an a-hole or something. Now they always have to come back and apologize for misbehaving. Pisces, you're going to have a lot of celebrations, a lot of, this is a dragon year. It's North Node in Aries is right now, and the South Node in Libra. Those things matter, and that's why these cards are showing up the way they're showing up. That's why people come to you with their sorries, with their, oh my God, I should have known better. You know, maybe they should have known better for the last five years, five months, 21 years. Cycles, a Saturn return. Many of you are having that. You could be 30 years old. You could be 60. You could be any age, but Saturn does a 30-year cycle, 28 cycles. 28. It takes 28 years approximately, 28 to 30. Sometimes it's different. It, it depends on where Saturn fell or it started when you were born, right? Anyway, so Saturn is currently in Pisces, and with Saturn being here, in this reading right now, you're completing a cycle. You could be completing a cycle with the fire sign who's very immature and has a real psycho mother. Twin flame energy, didn't want you to have a home with this person. The mother could have been doing manipulation. I don't know, a lot, that's a lot. But anyway, Pisces, you will be celebrating. And I just heard that someone wants to take a leap of faith on you. Spirit says, direction. Your purpose is unfolding slowly, step by step, as you go along. There's no need to hurry or worry. You're being divinely guided. And one more. The universe is sending you help. Do you guys hear that? The universe is. You've called in your guides. You've asked for help. You've said a prayer. You guys must have said, hey, you know what? I need help. I don't know how to handle this. I don't know what to do with this person or this situation. You know, my, my, my soul is in the highest good it can be. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever you guys have said, I'm giving you prayers. The universe is sending you help. Tap into your inner power and go deeper to create. The, that's Pisces. The purposeful, and even this is Pisces. This this energy, this entity lies deep, deep within the ocean. And it shines in the dark. Yeah, they found these, uh, these, I don't know what they are. I don't know what you call them. They're actually alive. Deeper to create the purposeful life you really want to have. Expression, you need to work, excuse me, you need work 
that lets you express your creative self. You could do well at writing, blogging, or career in communication. You're an influencer. Use your influence for change. You may do public speaking, social videos, or interviews. Your voice and opinions are important. Something is ending here, guys and gals. You may leave a position. Oh, you guys are going towards your future. Love it. Or be terminated. However, there's always new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. You know, when anything happens to you right now, Pisces, seriously, laugh at it. Laugh. Laugh and be happy. Wisdom. You are called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way. Use your wisdom and experience. You know, yesterday the Holy Spirit was telling me when I was out and about running my errands. Spirit was like, you know what, Galactic? Don't do what everyone else is doing. I'm like, oh my God. I don't. And they're like, yeah, you do. Anyway, don't speak ill of others and don't speak ill of yourself around others. You guys hear that? Do not speak ill of yourself around people or about other people. Period. Your work, your occupation. Sudden wealth. I don't want you guys to settle on anything. 211, I bet you're seeing 211 a lot. In 2011, it's very important. 2011 and 2013. One contract was broken and another one is starting great fortune. Damn! Someone is really proud of you. You guys are going to get married three times. So there's going to be a short, a short interval of some sort, you guys. Something like a short pause or a few days. Or a few months. And the Holy Spirit wants you to stay in the flow. You're, you're divinely fine. You're protected. You guys must know this. Um, I'm also picking up on something that's very, very important here. Something was in the background here. There's a man. Oh, God. Holy God. There's a woman. And here's a letter. And here's a move coming. 2024. And a new man. Something you guys waited on. Somebody's upset. Someone's coming out of poverty. The lovers are involved. There is a journey. Okay. All right, guys. All right. All right. We have a sly little devil here. We have a sly devil. But he's not even mad. He lost. He, you know what? He was like, let the best man win. And the best man is going to win. It's like you weren't even up for grabs like that to begin with, but whatever. I don't want to topple over the thing here. Many of you guys have been wishing and hoping and dreaming. You've been in another time space reality. Serving, helping, you guys have been serving, you've been helping, saving people, saving parts of yourself, returning. This is the number 13. The Lord of the Underworld. I just heard it. The Lord of the Underworld. Pluto. I'm not stopping the reading, but I do want to see where Pluto is at today because Pluto just came up. Pluto is somewhere special in your chart. Let's get the astro chart up real quick, you guys. The sun, of course, is in Pisces. Today is March 13th at 7, 10 a.m. 
when I'm making this video and you're dealing with a Taurus and Aries, a Pisces and Aquarius, a Capricorn and a Sagittarius is now back in the mix. And I want to see, is there an 11 here? Yes, there is. Saturn is at 11 degrees. So Saturn, the father, is coming in. Daddy's proud and you're marrying something, you're marrying the right man. I, I really want you guys to, um, many of you never had your fathers or your mothers. Might have been foster kids. No shame, no guilt. And by the way, Jupiter is at 13 degrees Taurus today. The moon is in Taurus at 8 degrees. And we are in the year of the dragon. It's moving fast and furious and beautiful and fantastic. Your work, your hard work has not been in vain, but someone who's been working against you, they're done. That's done. Remember, if you're not being kind and nice and authentic, then, you know, you suffer the consequences. You guys know that water is very important for you. You guys know that getting your rest, doing your life work, you're the main, you're the main one right now. You're not in the background anymore. You're not in the background, you're not sitting on the sidelines, you're the main event. Eagles are all over the place right now. I know you're seeing eagles everywhere. I know you're seeing you connect with birds. You connect with the holiday. Good news. And it was on the bottom even before I shuffled today. Good news and cat and independence. There's some sort of like a, a pause. 777. Someone knows that you're extremely lucky. But it's almost like you're giving your luck away. Because you want something so desperately. And it has to do with a wound. You are being encouraged to develop and balance between independence and a time of togetherness. This also indicates that you would greatly benefit from a profound journey of self-discovery. Learn to enjoy time spent with yourself. Wow, this wanted to come out. Progressing forward, dog and loyalty, cleverness, bunny rabbit, that's psychic ability, and boundaries with the panda. And here's the turtle again, guys. I don't think you guys want to hear anything more about patience. Because I think that irritates you to some degree. Progress. It seems like a long slog, but your efforts will pay off soon. Stay on course for at least a few more months before making change. And that's just few, few is three. And you're already in the process. There may be a hiring freeze or no work. Being aloof can leave you out in the cold. A warm follow-up gets you in the door. Well, someone feels frozen out of you. Or it could be a work thing, just like the Spirit said. I want you guys to know that the cat sees into other realms. It's also a spirit guide. You guys could have cats that are spirit guides. And maybe the cat and the dog get along. You guys could even have cats and bunnies and dogs. You guys could live on a farm. I don't know that portion of it. It's things need to be taken in context of which is I'm a spiritual teacher, leader. This is spiritual channel. Some things are very concrete and sometimes they come up very, you know, esoteric as in understanding different things. Wolf, inner spirit, luck, transition and transformation. Wisdom and knowledge is coming to you. And those things can't be taught in a book. And here's bear strength. Good news is on the way. You guys could get married. 
and your father is proud and someone there's something about someone looking at the new marriage and like the best man winning you or you making the right choice it brings great fortune 2026 today's the 13th here's the 13 and here's a five and a three and number eight this man just looks so nice and so well educated and kind like a psychologist or something he seems so endearing and this guy here he's a little he's he, he's also endearing i want you guys to know that he's like you know what He's wealthy, he's rich, he feels content. This could be the same man, younger and then now older, looking at you, growing, prospering, having a nice life. You guys could also be going to a wedding, but you're the main event. You're the main event, and someone is holding you close. I want to tell you guys something more here, too. Don't, don't ever, you're official, it's official. You guys hear other people's thoughts. You guys can see beyond things that people, people try to fake and pretend, but you can see. You can see. You you guys see things even that you don't want to see. And that's why you have to be so careful about what you're doing and how you're doing it. Because it matters. If you're a leader, people will look to you later and go, oh, well, look at so-and-so. I'm not talking about any past experiences like when you're a kid and stuff like that. That's ridiculous. People are learning and growing. Drama. Oh my God, they bring the drama. Beware of troublemakers in the workplace, the job. You may have. I don't like it when people don't put sentences together properly. Be, and yet I do that on my channel all the time. Sorry, you guys. Drama. Be aware of troublemakers in the workplace. The job you want may have too much upheaval to bear. Keep emotions and gossip in check. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Here, you guys, I told you, don't be a part of the problem. Money matters a lot now. Watch your expenses and save up for the future. You need to be prepared for the unexpected. I don't want you guys to be in fear. Saving face. You may need to grin and bear it to maintain respect and keep your job. Or you need to smile and make nice to get the position you want. People are wearing a mask, and you can see right through it. I don't ever want you guys to give up on anything when it comes to your life. Never, never, ever give up on your love light. Never give up on your love light. I've been hearing that a lot lately. And by the way, you guys, when I hear, uh, boy, Six of Wands, Pisces, when I pick up on songs, I put them in the community board. I picked up on The Greatest Love of All yesterday by George Benson. I kept hearing it for days. And then um, and then, well, Ariana Grande, I already put that up for you guys. Okay. Anyway. That was one song that I put up. You might want to listen to it. I, I listened to it yesterday and it literally made me, I started crying. But, but I was crying with tears of joy. I am grateful and I am blessed. Paper, airplane, I am free to make my, my wishes come true. I love that deck so much. You guys are succeeding at things that you didn't even know that you were even challenged by. There's so much going on in your world because you hadn't woke up to certain realities and now you are. And I, I want you guys to know when I say that, I say that with like a bear, you know, like 
a heaviness is being lifted. A cycle is closing and you guys are getting news and information from the Holy Spirit. I, I want you guys to do all that you can to love yourself. Because I know that you guys have been through hell. And I know that you're just also just getting started. You have become bored with your life. No, it says if you have become bored with your life. You have the creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything. You can do this by starting new projects, setting new goals, and making spiritual connections. Yes. You're coming out of hibernation. Literally. And even with the seasons, right? Because we're moving into spring. It's year of the dragon. We just came out of the tiger. Excuse me. Tiger bunny and now dragon. We're just a few days in the dragon. I love you guys. Never give up. Never, never, never give up. I'm going to tell you a story about my own story. Never give up. So I'm going to I'm going to share what I didn't share yesterday. I don't know I don't know how you guys are going to take this, you know. This is a big share here about me personally and I'm going to do it. Spirit's like don't do it. Anyway, there's 1113. The juggling days are over, kids. And I know we're grown-ups, but we're still kids, right? We're still kids in our hearts and our souls. I just love the way these two guys are here. I just, I got to come back to this real quick. I know I'm saying some, and your good fortune and your lucky breaks. They're not. They're, you're just moving in the right direction. That's why things are going in the flow and coming out. And that's why it's happening. You guys didn't think that you had the tools because you've been so broken. You've been so hurt. You've been so ostracized and, and harmed. <laughs> way God set it up I I didn't have any say in it but I'm here to report to you that it's good news is here it's already happening I want you guys to get more in alignment with it spring is here this is March Taurus energy Scorpio energy Oh, I know what I was going to say. This could be the same person. Somebody is watching you get married. You look different. Your life is different. Everything about you will be different in the future. No matter what age you are. This person might have been clever, flamboyant even. A bit of a, well, you know, streetwise. And then we have a book smart. But what you really needed was just someone who complimented you. Okay, now back to, I'm picking up so much from these cards. You guys are going to meet with someone who compliments you. And they're not going to bring out all the dark stuff. You're the main event. You're the main everything. And I was going to look to see where Pluto was at. It's one degree, 31 minutes, Aquarius. Capricorn in sidereal astrology. And Aquarius in Western astrology. Death and rebirth. You guys, I can't, I cannot say for sure that no one could ever be manipulated, right? Because, you know, there's always that possibility. Yet it's highly unlikely. <laughs> it's highly unlikely. That's what Spirit's saying. The will of fortune and death. The will of fortune and death. Yeah, I know. I, I kind of moved on past that that one thing. I, I just, I feel like if I say that, it it's going to take over the reading. I don't want it to. I don't think it's fair to you guys, so I'm not going to say it. I'll say it some other video. Four of Wands and uh, 
the Knight of Pentacles. What does Pisces need to know, Holy Spirit, besides these great, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful courthouse here and a distant horizon and a community? Someone is going to bring you some papers or you need to file some papers or um, somebody in Britain is, is getting something done for you. Somebody in, the, in England or Britain. or even in um, Ireland. The King of Wands is on the bottom here. The King of Wands with three people. Someone in the workplace, uh, someone could want to work with you. Someone could get pretty fired up. Um, someone could have a problem at work. A fire sign could have an issue at work. And I don't know, you know, there's more paperwork here needing to be, or something was filed. We have a strength here. Number eight, strength is the first card out, Pisces. Wow, look at this. We have two eights here. Knight of Wands. Kind of looks like a woman someone is coming towards you or someone wants to stop you someone wants to keep something going you guys uh they definitely want to rush in the moon seven of pentacles okay this person wants to start an argument with you pisces they have bad intentions they have they always had an ill intention eight of swords more swords and we have a page of wands. Knight of wands, page of wands. This one is, is solely focused on whatever they want. Although they try to act. So we have eight, 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 and a nine. Eight of wands, eight of cups, eight of strength here. And the eight of swords. One, two, three, four, eights, guys. Hmm. You're about ready to pack it in on something. You're assessing your situation today. You're seeing things as they need to be seen. It's not easy, but you're doing this easily. I really want to advise you guys to please stay in alignment with your vibrational frequency. This is Pisces rainbow energy. This is light worker energy bringing light to the darkness. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo. Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Strength. You're battling a beast here. A force. The Eight of Wands. Energy that is coming towards you. It's being thrown at you. It could be family members. But you're seated here. You've got the strength to do this. You do have someone who is playing in your energy. They're actually fighting. These are enemies. Okay? You guys are blind to this somehow. You're sacrificing your time, your wisdom, your energy. Hidden enemies, darkness, high priestess, ten of cups. I feel like many of you guys out there just want things to be the way you need it to be. And you are definitely around somebody here. This uh, Knight of Wands is a fire energy, a Leo, a Sagittarius.
A Leo, a Sagittarius. This is very strong Leo energy. You guys might have had an argument with a Leo. Someone is coming towards you, definitely. They are your enemy. Someone has packed up and they're ready to go. You guys have tried really, really hard. That's what I'm hearing. You guys tried so hard. Just something wasn't because of this five of swords. And spirit is just saying it like that. Just something wasn't meant to be. Because there's so many enemies. So much friction. So much fighting. Can't get anything done. You can't get anything passed. The seven. Exhausted. Fighting. Taming. Walking away. Eight, 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 eight. It's like a psycho or something. Putting up boundaries. I'm telling you, this person is really immature. You're like a high priestess. You guys just don't vibe in the same vibrational frequency. You know how people will say, oh, I just don't get along with that person. No, it's not that. You get along with everyone. Ascendant in Pisces at 13 degrees, guys. North node at 17 degrees, Aries. Oh, God. Here's the devil. Here's the devil. Toxic relationship. I really, spirit wants you guys to move along. Move along. Get on your path. Stay on your path. Can you guys tell me something more about this uh, Knight of Wands? Five of Cups. Someone was playing with some blood magic here. Holy shit. Dear God. Death. The hero font and Pisces, you're right here. Here's a justice. Pisces, you're sitting in between the spiritual leader, Anubis, and the goddess Mayotte, and then there's a king of cups on the other side. It's like the Holy Spirit is keeping this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, masculine away from you. There could also be a contract coming soon between you and another man or a man and a woman because that's a contract. And this is, here's a death of the old contract. And here's a new contract. But until this person levels up and until you balance up, you, you, you're in a transformation. You gotta let go of something old. That the high priestess and the high priest are here. Contracts. This five of cups doesn't hold sway, doesn't hold court in here. Sisters and brothers out there, no. Heck no. You're moving on away from some codependent relationship. Here's a fire sign. She's having a she's having a meltdown, whoever that one is. She's having an awakening. Do you guys see this? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but this could be someone who actually truly loves you. They don't want anything from you, guys. Oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps. They want fair and equal. They want, they, someone wants to come in and give you a fair and equal life. He could be a Libra. He could be a Taurus. He could be a Scorpio. This man is a balanced man. 
He's on hold and you're on hold. When you get to Taurus season, something really wonderful is about to happen for you, Pisces. This fire sign, something, blood, blood, bad blood, bad blood, bad blood, bad blood. He did a lot of dirt. He's never going to be able to make up for what he's done. Not in this lifetime. He threw away two cups. Oh my God, he threw away a life. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm sure he's very much in regret. Or she. Dear God. That's what they get. He might have been shape shifting around you too, Pisces. One minute it was one way and the next second it was another. Never, never really holding space for you. This new guy hold, knows how to hold space for you. He knows how to wait for you, be a part of your life and not just... This other one, he's doesn't. he never cared about making you a part, a partner, a real partner. You know, I hate to say that, but it, it seems like it. Animals are my friends. I'm kind and loving to them. Oh my God, of course you guys are. Number 24, you guys could be getting a new doggy or a new kitty, but probably a new dog. Dogs are for life, so, you know, 20, 30 years. The crown, I'm a good leader. The moon, number 18. I am grateful and I am blessed. Number three and number 18. Did I say that already? You guys, um, something big is happening here. We have eight, 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 eight. I think it's just very hard for whoever you are because you love so deeply and you just wanted things. You were like, you know, I just wanted everyone to be happy. Here's the number 19 and lavender. You guys should maybe sleep with some lavender. Wish upon a star. I am from stuff of stars. I matter. Oh my gosh. See, this is, this is the prime example here. Exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking to somebody out there who didn't want everyone. I mean, of course you guys want to be happy, but you're not trying to be happy at the expense of others. You're, you never have been that way. Never. You, you guys have this energy of, see, look at cookie making. You guys want to bring people together and not tear them apart. This is why you're here at this Virgo energy. In the white dress with the laurels and you're trying to tame like a kingdom. But they don't all, these are like you're trying to rally cats and rabbits. You, they don't want what you want, Pisces. I'm sorry. They're in regret. Not because they know you tried. It's because they were working against you the whole time. They weren't collaborating with you. It's not my fault. I'm just reporting. You guys, I'm just reporting the obvious here. You're you're throwing yourself on the ground. You're throwing yourself on a gauntlet. You're you're blinding yourself to things that you need to be fully aware of. You need to take care of your health. It is your wealth. You're a shining star. You you got this. Oh man, I can't make it up. I cannot not. They tried to bury your ass, man. They tried to bury your butts. It's it's like they don't know what to do with you. And why you guys keep trying to work with people who aren't working with you, it's because of low self-esteem. You guys need lots of rest. You need lots of love. You guys... You do. You do. But I want you guys to know you're in a you're grown up now. I 
I know it's hard. I can feel how hard it is. I know you guys didn't know a lot. You you didn't have anybody. You know, you were all alone. You might have made a lot of mistakes. You know, and so maybe you felt some kind of way. You didn't feel worthy. Be an animal. I share my world with, look at all this animal stuff. I share my world with animals which have all kinds of strength. Here's an emperor or the number four foundation. And Aqua Luna back up again. You're so grateful and so loving and so kind. I am grateful and I am blessed. Freeze it. I freeze what I no longer, yeah, it's done. That's the number 17. Send a letter to the universe. The world loves me. Number 27. Wishing boat. 21. Cycles are over, guys. I look forward to new challenges. Yeah, you're going to have a new life now. Let the leaves go. That's the fall. Please let the past go, you guys. Please. I can let go of what I no longer need. You don't need the pain and the agony. Magic eggs. 23. Beginning something is exciting. Think of it all as new. I'm sorry it didn't work out. I'm sorry. The magic starts with you. If I could like place a star in y'all's heart, what I'm feeling in my solar right now, right beneath my rib cage, I'm feeling this energy of excitement and fear. Sure, it's scary because you don't know what's out there. But it's better than what you've been through. And what you've been through is hell. And I want to, I'm not going to start crying. But. Ah, help. The reason why something can't cross over. Is because someone's cloaking their own emotions. They need to get help. You guys just want to be in the fields. And having picnics. And being all chilly McVilly And. Dreaming and being with spirit, number six here, childlike energy. See, told you. Somebody else is playing. Something can't be made right. They can't get it together. They, these three, these three, these cups. More cups. I'm not... Obviously, you guys think, oh, you guys are stubborn. I have some Pisces out there that are very, very stubborn. Or you're just unsure, fearful, tired. And somebody was bull whacking you. So that, that made it even more difficult. Somebody was BSing you. Keeping you stuck. See? Oh my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Gain enlightenment and wisdom. Keep, keep that person at a distance from you. Here you are hanging. Trying to balance out everything. Queen of Swords here. I do like this energy coming in because it feels more stable. This Taurus moon. It's like if you if you guys could feel more grounded and less less confused. It's like you guys don't feel like what you do matters. It's like you feel like no one pays attention to you. The judgment. God is listening. Karma. Good. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, God is definitely listening. Oh, God is definitely listening. This partnership. I'm pinching my nose. It stinks to high heaven. It stinks all the way to hell and back. 
Mm -mm, you guys, come on. Come on. This is stinky. P-U. It's so dead, it's dead. <laughs> Spirit, you are killing me right now. I'm like, do not want to laugh loud. This is so dumb. Okay, I'm getting more messages about why you guys stayed in this relationship so long. Toxic, demonic energy. You're an empress. They're a king of wands. They're under some sort of... I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say... They're, they're under, they have, um, they have their own thing they need to do. Let's just put it like that, please. They got their own thing. Let's just leave it there. I don't, don't want to say those words. Wow. You, this is over. This is done. You guys have been taking on someone else's energy, but you didn't know it. Eight of Swords. You guys have been doing this for so long. That's the past, though. Unfortunately, there was someone here, you guys, that definitely was very, very toxic and someone who wouldn't let something end. Someone who wants to win no matter what it does to you. But the interesting thing about it is you've transformed. But guess what? That person is looking directly at whatever it is. God help them. Oh God, I'm grossed out. They gotta face whatever it is that they're they they're gonna that masculine has to do it on their own. I think your job is done here, Pisces. What did it say? Spirit said at the beginning in our prosperity messages. This is spiritual. Something about the loving. Spirit said something that the job was over. The ending of a job. The path you are on, okay, the path you are on will bring you success and prosperity if you just keep going. Lots of little steps take you a long way. You're on track. There's a sunrise here. Haleakala, more Hawaiian energy, new life. You may get a fresh start or be called to bring a new perspective to your old job. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Magic in the air. You have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want into your life. The sky's the limit. Not the old masking. No. Take off the blindfold. You may need to grin and bear it into... Someone else needs to grin and bear it. I don't know. You, you may need to grin and bear it to maintain respect and keep your job. Or you need to smile and make nice to get your position. Okay, yeah, you're either going to deal with this person who has a mask on, who's wearing a mask. So in turn, you guys wear a mask and don't get what you want because why? You're settling for less. You're at the Eight of Swords. And you're at the Nine of Wands. But what I want to tell you this. This person knows that they're hoodwinking you. They want to keep this energy, this fire sign wants to keep you at the Eight of Swords. Foregoing your own destiny. Uh, there's a position that you guys have in your life right now that is maintaining some sort of balance, okay? But it comes with too much to bear. 
courage and strength and cutting ties. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this for you guys to help you understand. Because, you know, world is, things are complicated. Situations are not that simple. You have children, you have a life, you have education, you might be in school, you might be trying to finish your degree. And you're like, hey, you know what, I'm trying to bring this all together, but I don't need everything else to fall apart at the same time. Right? You don't want the whole thing unraveling what you've been doing for seven of pentacles. Because some of that is worthy. And that makes sense. Right, you guys? That makes sense to me. You know? You guys have a logical brain here. You're not trying to like... But this person, this contract, this job, whatever mission you've been on to help someone out of the darkness... It took you down to, you know, you're in another reality or something like that. And now you're waking up out of that reality. And I'm sorry. She was like the high priest was on top of the family. And then you have the other reality here. You have a number nine, number eight, all these eights. I don't know how it went. Sorry, guys. I got it all mixed up in the cards. There is definitely a message here that you guys need to know that you have a lot going on. I don't know why you're not seeing it. Maybe because this person's always fighting with you, all this fighting. They fight with other people and then they come to you and fight some more. Unknown factors. Darkness. This Knight of Wands. Five of Cups. You know, I don't think it bothers them. <laughs> I don't think it bothers this fire sign. They don't give a hootie scoot. They don't have any conscience. And you guys are here going, what in the L? Seven of Pentacles. You're like, what is going wrong here? Five, five. What is go? Ask yourselves, you guys, what's going right? Focus on what's going well. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. What is going well for you? And focus on that. Your health, your workouts, you're getting things accomplished. But you're doing it under so much stress. My God. So much stress. Stay away. Stay away from that, from that person. Temper your energy. Focus on the positive. These people are negative. Negative Nellies, negative, negative, negative. Uh, who's this emperor? Aries energy, father energy. Aries and ancestors. Oh my God, it's your father. Your emperor, Pisces. Choose grounded energy. Choose people who are not effing crazy and wild and mentally unstable. Did you guys find your father recently? An emperor. Mystery. Shadow. Just come, come full, full, full in your power, High Priestess. Do it. Don't be afraid of what other people, what that means is you're just going to sit in your power and your strength and you're not going to worry. An emperor or king, he doesn't worry. He knows he's got everything handled. King of swords, narcissist and a tower. And a ten of swords, the sun and a healing. This emperor, is it an Aquarius? I was talking to, I was talking to the emperor who this emperor is. Why are you here? Okay, it's a love connection. Could be from the past, soulmate, something that's coming in. Meaning, 
It's someone that you have a connection with. Six of Cups, the lovers. You're going to have to get rid of the narc, though. Whoever you guys don't get along with, please get rid of them. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> this keeps coming up. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the, uh, the Hero Font, and the Wheel of Fortune. Your destiny. This must be a long video. Here's a star and happy, happy, happy feelings. I just heard the song by Maze. Happy feelings. All right, I'm going to go. That's a lot. That's a lot for you guys to discover and uncover and, and realize. Realize. The realization. Flashback. from Okay, people from the past return. You may work with previous co-workers or take back an old job. You get a second chance. Yeah, you get a second chance on life. Short term. Did I not say at the beginning of, this, of the video, I was like, there's some sort of pause here. 13. This position is temporary, so don't be too attached to it. No worries. You will find something that's even more fulfilling and prosperous. That's part of this letting go. Renewal. Take time to recharge your energy to get back on tra track. Challenges ahead require you to have faith and breakthrough. Someone's been holding you back for a very darn long, 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 long time. Like I'm tongue tied all of a sudden. A treasure. Spirit wants you to make new memories. Flashback my Ten of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. King of Wands, the Hermit, Five of Swords, Page of Cups. I just want a clarification. You guys are going to get married. You're going to have a new life. Five of Swords. This person is out and the new one's in. And it's because God says so. King of Wands, Shapeshifter. You guys have been like, well, I've done all this. I've done all that. Well, then let it go. You'll have more. Ten of Pentacles. You can't go any further with this. To go further with this relationship with this King of Wands is, is futile. Here's the strength again. You're a lion. Page of Wands. <laughs> oh my God. You guys have been dealing with a nincompoop. I can't. I cannot. I can't. I mean, it's not your fault. It's You certainly tried. It's not your fault. This person's an idiot. It's like you have more faith in them they, than they have in themselves. And by giving your own faith away and giving it to them, you're losing your own faith, your own strength, your own wisdom, your own life. Oh, my God. I got to go. This is ending. This is over. Some sort of skull, some sort of skull brothers. You may you may leave a position or be terminated. I'm telling <laughs> this is this is like hilarious. Like they're not talking about just a job, you guys. They're also talking about a relationship. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. Yeah, your whole life is gonna change. Investment. Invest in your education and make some big plans for the future. Take calculated risks, but save something to fall back on. Right at the start of the video, you guys are assessing everything right now. I mean everything from the past seven freaking years. You're closing out a seven-year cycle and you're moving into a new cycle. And you want more. And you deserve more. This is an eight year. Next year, you're going into a number nine year. You're, you're seeing things as they need to be seen. You're taking the blindfold off. There's a lot going on in this reading. 
And I can see and feel how you guys could... Ah! The chariot. Eight of wands, ten of swords, death, three of swords, two... Yeah. Faulty, defective. You guys, you, you guys are going to know. You guys are going to know. You guys are going to know. You have a new beginning here, ladies and gentlemen. You do. And I, I'm picking up on this societal thing where you guys, at one time, you guys, that's all you guys wanted was like a marriage and a happy family and all like that. But now, now your, your ideas about life and and wisdom and knowledge and all like that is changing. You want equal, you want equal give and take. I mean, you might have always wanted that, like that, but you weren't getting it. You weren't getting that. You were getting someone who was really mean and nasty to you. They didn't get you at all. They didn't get your gentle nature. They don't understand you. They don't understand nothing about you, Pisces. Sorry. They don't. They might have wanted to control you. You might have had like daddy issues. But you don't. Not anymore. I like it. I really like it a lot, you guys. Really take care of yourselves. Because you deserve it. You're the main, you're the main thing that, <coughs> excuse me. You're the main thing here, ladies. You are. You make the world turn. On that note, before I start coughing and all like that, have a beautiful day. You have a lot, a lot of blessings, a lot of fortune. Just take a pause here. Give yourself a break. You know? It's all, it's all working out. It really is. I can't even, I'm just feeling this energy of strength and groundedness. You know, things are being done on your behalf. Someone's getting something done for you. Some papers are getting filed. You know, the, the bad journey is over. The spirit, the angels, here you are, privileged. Someone's in despair, bummed out. Well, you know, there's a community that you're going to be leaving because you're going to go on a new journey. I, I just feel like this is like perfectly golden opportunity to break from the past. Assess your life, you guys. You guys are very intelligent. You're very wise. You're dealing with a narcissist. You've been dealing with a narcissist. And it was hard for you to see everything at the Eight of Swords. But you've been putting up your boundaries. Doing your best. Look at you putting your best foot forward here. And for that, you guys are being rewarded. I don't know how each one of you guys are being rewarded in your magic circle. You know, but somebody wants to be in that circle. Every day, things are getting better. Fake magic cookies. I can give good things to myself and others. Something about like family and stuff, you know? All right, you guys, there it is. I don't know what else to say other than, I mean, I could pull more cards, but I think this is a lot. I think that you guys need to know this so that you can feel confident. So you can, you can understand that your life is going to turn out all right. You're in a good position. Just keep moving in that direction. Keep making decisions that are focusing on your good, your good values, your good moral conduct, and your good fortune and your ability to see clearly, to, to, to end things in your life that are no longer good for you. You know? Go eat some cookies or something. I don't know. I don't, okay, and I will, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. You guys have a beautiful, blessed day.
and uh, take care of that inner child and love yourself. Give yourself some flowers. Get dressed up. Be kind to yourself. Go get that wax that, that you need to get or something. Go get your nails done. Buy some new clothes. Wear your stuff. Wear your, wear your fancy gear. Get outside. Get out of the house. Have a great day. Thank you for being here.